Morning people, we are on the way to Old Trafford. I'm going to meet Joe and Steve, the Viber 5 guys, and we are going to give you a little bit of an insight into what we think is going to happen today at the game. We're at Old Trafford, you know the feeling never changes. What a place to be, we are en route. Early start for the Reds today, and it's absolutely bucketing it down. It's a proper, proper wet one for us today. But it is United, it is Everton, I'm in the Stratford end. I don't know where these two are, but let's go try and find them. <laughs> Excuse me, boss. Can I have a word, please? <laughs> hey, anytime, anytime. Come on. I need to. Hear, you need to hear this voice. This is the announcer. He tried to walk past and ghost past us. This is the announcer. This is the voice that anyone who's been coming to Man United for how many years? Twenty-one seasons. Twenty-one seasons. This is the voice that you hear. Give us, give us a little. I'm coming on for Manchester United number five. The legend that is Rio Ferdinand. <laughs> Listen, it's a regular thing, this Rio and AK. All right, all the very best indeed. Take Cheers, boys. See you soon. All right, mate. Okay, guys. Thanks. Rio! <laughs> He's never said that before. Coming off the bench, Rio Ferdinand, number five, is he? Old Trafford. You ever started off the bench at Old Trafford? Never. I don't think I ever come off the bench at Old Trafford, so he needs to. Can we get that re edited? Anyway, listen, we'll see you after, guys. 2 0 I'm going for. 3 1 you're going for. 3 1, yeah. And I'm thinking someone's getting a brace, but I don't know. Cavani. Oh, I, I, oh, I love him as well. The way he retrieved that ball the other day, I sent it in the group, remember? Yeah. It's just, he just his, his whole he, attitude about everything. Oh, he ran past, I think, Cristiano, chased someone down into the corner, bang the crowd, get up, the strength and end the fly, and it's, it's what you need. Anyway, we'll see you after, guys. My arm's killing me. Right then, I am here with Jay from New Era. New Era look after, obviously, tons of Premier League players, but you particularly, you've got three today that are playing for Everton. Yeah. Um, hopefully, a couple of those are going to start. You've got Godfrey, you've got Holgate, you've got Michael Keane. Yeah. All of them defending, all of them coming up against some serious firepower today for yeah. United. How do you think the boys are going to do? Yeah, I think Michael Keane has start obviously a big day for him coming back to, to Old Trafford and Man United where he, where he started. So I think he'll play centre back. Um, they kept a clean sheet last time out um, uh, with Jerry Mina, so I expect them two to play centre backs. And that may mean that Mason may miss out today. And, um, and, and, and after a win against Norwich, I think Ben Godfrey will start right, right back. <laughs> this is what I was saying. Christ, you, look small. you know, you look unbelievable. This is what happens when you, you hang about here, you meet legends, man. The real <laughs> legends of the game. How are you doing? I'm good, how are you? What are you thinking today? Uh, we need to win, don't we? We need to win and play well. Did you used to want to play well or were you happy with just like a result? No, I'll play well. Yeah? And win. It's true, it's true. Play well and win. You got a score for me? I think we'll win 3 1, Ronaldo 2. Oh, ah. okay, fingers crossed. I hope he's right. This man was always right in the goal when he made the decision. So, listen, good luck, man. Ah, uh, yeah, he's around the back, mate, doing all the fancy stuff. This is where the real work happens. All right, cool. So, today, big game, joint points with Everton. Have you got this in the bag, yes or no? Easy. 3 0. 3 0. It's going to be today's game. That's a little bit confident for a team that's lost 3 and 5. Look, 3 0 is not impossible, but. If it clicks, I'll take a 1-0, but 3-0 if it clicks, it can happen. If there's not a performance today, then when's it going to come? I don't know. You tell exactly. me. Exactly. <laughs> Ask Ollie, innit? Talk oh, to us. Do you know what? So, we came up last time for pre-season. Pre pre-season. And guess what game we watched? What? What game did you watch? I have done and Man United. No way. Guess what we won? 4-0. Well, you won 4-0, and do you reckon you're the good luck charm for this Yes. Place? Huh? Come on, go on for now again, uh, please. And, and listen, when are you coming back up here, though? Uh, I literally come up here all the time. All the time, yeah. I literally. Listen, come you got you, you got to make sure, yeah, you uh, subscribe to Five and uh, I subscribe listen, to you. and and drop me a DM as well, yeah. Ah! All right, love. In a bit. <laughs> I want a, an appreciation on Jesse Lingard. Very underrated. Mm -hmm. um, doesn't get the credit he deserves. Mm -hmm. When he's in the team, something always happens, mm -hmm. um, and I'm glad he didn't go to the Hammers. Yeah man, come on, free the top man, you feel me? But talk yeah, to man. me, talk to me! 
Listen, big game today, man. Like, you know, it sounds mad, yeah, but it's a big game against Everton. We need to perform today, and I need a performance today. Mm. I know I come out here and everyone's singing Viva Ronaldo, yeah, but when it's in there, man, the performances ain't matching. And big up to you, man, for defending us, you feel me? I expect more because you got to remember, in our, in, our, in our heyday, not sure my age, in our heyday, it was Arsenal United. Oh, it was. Yeah, and yeah. and there was a lot of, there was hatred, but respect. You know what I mean? So when I see things not popping at Arsenal or not popping at United, I know the history, bro. You know what I mean? Donny! Donny! Are you playing, Donny? No. Are you playing today? Playing, no. No? I'm starting. No, you're not starting? I'm on the stadium today. Yeah, you're never starting. We finished second last year, and this year we're looking even better, so we'll see how are you, Are you really, though? What, three losses in five games? Solid, yeah? Do you know what? A few mistakes, but... A few? Three, three, three huge mistakes, mate. We've got a few players that are not really performing at the moment. Like who? Call them out. Not really at the moment. That's a, bro, man's got, like, man's got like seven assists this season so far. Yeah, but I'm talking the last two games. Okay. He hasn't really performed. Is he the reason? No, he's not, he's not the only reason. I think some of Oli's decisions can be questioned. But ultimately, I think we'll get there. You win today. Yeah. It's the top of the league thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Surely... Yeah. Surely Benitez has done a good job. Yeah, he's done a good job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So people don't want to. He's got a long term. They don't want to say long term. He's long term. Yeah, we never you don't want to say name. it. Yeah, we never sing his name because of the whole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The red side. You know what I mean? The scandal. Uh, we don't say that name. <laughs> yeah, the scandal. But but deep down. Yeah. There's a respect uh, there, yeah? They're playing better football, much better football. I Oh, Joel, oh, Joel, you're always at United Games. Listen, if you guys had the Rio Ferdinand plug, you will be doing the same thing. Don't get it twisted, I'm still a gooner, but I'm here to enjoy the spoils, the food, the laughter. You know, hopefully it'll be a funny day for me and not for them. Manchester United legend, Mr. Dwight York. What you're seeing so far, talk to us. Man. Yeah, listen, I'm sure there's going to be some question marks in there somewhere along the line, but at the end of the day, despite all of that, we've only one point off the top. So today is a, a day that we can be at the top of the Premier League, so let's hope that we get a good result. Well, Arsenal are only four points behind you. Yeah. You know we're catching up, you know that. Uh, we're worried about Arsenal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. See ya. Yeah. Man's in the worry. Uh, personality in me didn't really take too much in. Apple juice? I just kind of enjoy myself. Cheers. Cool, uh, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> cool, uh, enjoy your lunch in the corporate. I'm having a proper football food. Sorry, excuse me. Oh, sorry. You get out, get out of my you get out, mate. Secret United fan. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I'm not a secret United fan, mate. I'm just here, just here to enjoy Rio Ferdinand's lifestyle. Team selection that people expected. How do you feel with Martial starting? CR7 getting dropped. No Pogba, no Sancho. Let us know. Obviously, Bruno here. Bruno's here to run the teams. Is he going to have a good game? We shall see. For me, the danger man today could be Damari Gray. I think. Him and Townsend, great buys, great, great buys. I think they are the players to watch out for today and they can make anything happen. Let's see if I'm right. Oh my gosh! Van der Sack across the ball. Marshall was coming in back post with his bar leg. And look, the United fans are happy. Look at him, look at him, he's getting into it. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Everton looked like they were gonna score and then in comes Varane. Him and Ben White, the best centre-backs in the Premier League. You heard it here first. You see Ben Godfrey do a flipping 60-yard dash and play it, and then cross it in. I'll be honest with you, I never used to see like the big deal in it. Obviously, I, I watch him a little bit more now for obvious reasons. And Boy, he's an athlete, man. Really clever footballer as well, because sometimes when you say athlete, you just think they're physically good, but he's actually intelligent. Um, yeah, he's good. He's a very, very good player. Cavani could have put Man United ahead there, you know. Great little head, our keeper saves it. I'm actually surprised it didn't go in, man. It looked like it looked like he had more time than he thought he had. But either way, it's still nil-nil.
agree with me. What's a player? Lift it there. Alan. Just just a little bit better than Martinelli. Oh. <laughs> Just is. David De Gea was probably the best save of the game so far. Listen, man. <laughs> man United could have been 1 0 down from that. That was a great shot. I can't see who shot. I don't know if it was the Corey. I missed it. Who was it? Who was it? Uh, Damari Gray. Told you he's the danger, man. But yeah, man. Great save from David De Gea. Mason Greenwood booked. Personally, I don't think it was a yellow card. If I was Mason, I would have pretended like I didn't do anything, man. He looked like he was a little bit guilty. The yellow card came out. You've got to fight it a little bit more, do you know what I mean? Good and yourself, what did you think first off? Yeah, you know, started well. Mm -hmm. Last year, you know, back to the score sheet. Yeah. You happy? I'm happy right now. And it looks like CR7 and Sancho are coming on. All is not wasting any time. 55 minutes into the game, United are winning and he's bringing them on. Will this make a difference? What do you say, notes? A massive difference. Massive difference? Oh, what, they're taking off Cavani? I don't think that's a very good move. Come on, Sancho! It's a tough one, because you can't take off Martial, he's scored. Gonna love that one, that's gonna make their highlights for sure. He's running, he's put on the burners, he plays it back to Sancho. Sancho's dribbling past, they've given it to Bruno. Oh, Metsus messes it up in the pot. Oh, mate. Oh, Metsus, man, it was your time. He McFluffed it. Oh, man. Now attacking, the Kure's got the ball. Oh, my gosh, he plays in Townsend. Townsend shoots, and Townsend equalizes. Oh my gosh, United ripped apart in the counter-attack. The Everton fans are going mad. The London Man United fans sitting in front of me ain't got nothing to say. I can't lie. That was, that was, that was a very good attacking play. One, one of the angry London United fans are blaming Fred. Oh my gosh. I think he just did the Sioux celebration as well. Like I said to you earlier, man, Townsend is one of the danger men. 1-1. One, one. United have a lot of work to do. Is it just me, or did the Corey just, like, grab up Greenwood and not get a yellow card? Insane, because Greenwood got booked for practically nothing earlier on. Sometimes I just don't understand the consistency of the referees, if I'm to be honest with you, man. But there you go, that's another example. Let us know what you think in the comments. Just waiting for Pogba to come on. Really interested to see what he can do, how Oli's going to line this up, because right about now, I think Lingard should be coming on personally because he's the game changer, but there you go, we'll see. Oh my days, Everton have scored. Everton have scored. United are calling for an offside. Was that an offside, yes or no? United are stunned, they can't believe it. And hey, United fans were scared. Yeah, look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him. He was scared. He was scared. He was scared. I was scared because he was, he was definitely scared. Are, innit? Let me know, innit? Yeah. The referee is indicating a minimum of four minutes. 
four minutes to go. What can they come up with? And it's a draw. Man United one, Everton one. Oli's tactics are really gonna get questioned tonight, that's for sure. Mate, hey listen, it's a long drive without petrol, mate. Hey, poet! Hey, the real game starts at 5.30. Ronaldo's just gone straight away. Well, all of them are, to be mm. fair, innit? Fuming. Ronaldo walking down the tunnel. Alham. Oh, where? Bro, what do you reckon? Yeah, not bad. Yeah? But yeah, I'll ask yeah, man. Way, yeah, yeah, man. It's red though, isn't it? I got confused. Oh, okay. I followed the red clouds and I was like, oh, it's not even but I watched my video. I understand. I hear you. Oh, you mean? Yeah, man. I didn't know. Oh yeah, just lost. All of that ain't gonna get you three points. May United, 1-1. Tough game, tough game. Everton turned up, I'll give some credit to Everton, didn't you? Mm, that's true, I agree. It's not easy to come to a joke and get a result, and they did alright. Why are you sound so happy? I ain't happy, I'm not happy at all. I'm, just like, I'm pleased for the underdog in this theatre of dreams. Don't happen, bro. Okay, you, what do you think? I'd rather be watching Norwich. Right, I had to bounce 10 minutes before the end because uh, Paddock had a game. Um, it was what we said in the, the beginning of the game, you're playing against the low block. That's why I wanted to see Ronaldo. That's why I wanted to see Cavani. All on the pitch at the same time, not one coming on for the other. Wanted to see them play together so you could actually achieve something together. And we didn't get that with them. When you play a 4-2-3-1 against a team that's defending in a 4-4-2, there's no extra man anywhere. There's no angles anywhere to go. And that ultimately is why United have come away and we've dropped points there and we're going to come off the pace in the league now that's absolutely not good enough on the other hand Paddock won though so but <laughs> Paddock I can't defend against low bot teams lad that's it that's it just... starting line up would you have picked a different starting I don't know I don't think you can bench Ronaldo that's it mate to be honest with you that's the only thing but Cavani did justify his start mm. so that's at the end of the day I mean we weren't, he... weren't good enough to win but should be beating teams like Everton there at home, that's it. Why did he make two changes so quickly as well? I don't know, I don't know. We needed Ronaldo on the pitch, but Cavani didn't do much today either, but here's what it is, mate. I didn't really understand Ronaldo not starting, if I'm honest with you. I think Cavani deserved a start, mm. to be fair, since what he did for us last season. Um, he's Martial won't... justified his start as well, though, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah. Martial I've, I've, No, oh. they all think Martial should Martial back Martial's Martial instead. Martial. I, but I don't get how you can go from our top just scorer. Just he scored to... one goal. Just he scored yeah. one goal does not mean you can think he's got all of us. Has... Fair enough, but the team selection then, that means it's justified, does no, it see, not? Uh, no, the lineup for the start was poor. It was, uh, it was no, absolutely poor. Is... I don't know what we're doing. Why are we not starting Ronaldo? Why are we not starting Pogba? There are, best, there are like two best players. Why, why would we So not... who would you have dropped? Okay, cool. So who, who would you have dropped? Mc Fred. 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 What you need Fred and McTominay. Why are they Mc starting? Fred is, is, he can't work. It's all you need to do. We need Pogba on the left. If you started Pogba on the left and Donny, start Donny in the middle with either McTominay or Matic or whatever, it works better because Donny's got creativity, then Pogba's got creativity, you can have Sancho or Greenwood on the right, you got Bruno and you got Cavani or Ronaldo. You've got options. So, I don't so, get why he's treating Donny like that. Honestly, he, he's, he's not been bad whenever he's played and we can't have McFred in the midfield. At the end of the day, win a big trophy, impose yourself on a league, Show yourself to be the biggest club in the country. That's what we need to do. We've spent enough, we've got a squad. If it don't work by the end of the season, not right now, end of the season, then we make a change. The thing is like, Sancho played very well when he came on. Mm. And as he said earlier, like you gotta wonder why why Sancho, we bought him as a right winger, why he was like playing, playing left, left wing, it yeah. doesn't make sense. Ole did the job that he was brought in to do, but you gotta wonder whether he's taken us as far as he can take us, whether, to whether to actually get to where we need to go, to whether we should bring in Cause, someone Because people are saying you got the dream team. There's no doubt, you got the dream team. That's he, what people he, are saying. He said on the flight over, he's like, if it was Klopp or Conte or, Pe or Pep, that we he, they could win the league I easily said this, with this squad. I said this in the Champions League. I said this to Steve and Rio, and they didn't believe me, but I'm with you 100%. Anyway, Andros Townsend is a cheeky bastard. He's not welcome. Oh, did you see what he did? He's, he's, oh, not, he's not welcome in the West of Ireland. That's a message to you, Andros Townsend. <laughs> you're, not, you're not safe there. You're not safe there. It's a point of the first time at Old Trafford, you know, expecting to see Ronaldo starting. Obviously, he's not starting. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think we should have seen more from the team. Um, 
yeah, it was just, yeah, I think it didn't impose so well on the game, but yeah, overall disappointed and if you want to be challenging, it's not good enough. One thing I've been annoyed about, no clean sheets, like rarely any, we just keep on conceding, so yeah, I don't know, it's just, yeah, for me, not good enough at all, man. Here's a, here's a player, here's a player that had a really good game today, Ben. When you're in the opposing dressing room and someone like Cristiano is not, not fit or he's not, he's not playing, it's surprisingly like that. What does that do for the dressing room? Obviously, it's a boost of confidence. Um, I don't need to tell you how, how good of a player he is, but it's not like the struggle for depth, is it, when they've obviously got Cavani as well to, to put on and start. So, you know, as much as it's a, it's a boost of confidence, you can't, you can't lay back because Cavani will still punish you. Get home safely. See you soon, bro. Good to see you, man. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank Thank you. Take care. Thank well played. You. Yes, guys, that was match day 360. Myself, Joel Bayer, Rio Ferdinand. Listen, man, we had the chat on the live talk and stuff like that. Bro, man, how you... <laughs> How are you going to get over this one, man? You know I'm coming for your Monday, you know that, right? You know I am, right? I know, I know. Right, I've just got cool. to prepare myself, right. man. I've got to prepare myself. As long as you know, don't be running away because it's an international break either. I know that, those tricks. That could be one of the ways I get out of this. We'll see, you know? <laughs> But yeah, hopefully you guys please keep making sure that you smash the like button, you like, share, subscribe. comment, repost, subscribe, follow us on socials because we are trying to bring you guys the best content and as quick as possible. We went live straight after the game, Rio. Mm. Straight yeah, after the game. I think it's important to get that live reaction, man, mm. as well. It's raw, speak about things, speak about We're not what hiding. you feel about the team. Yeah, you can't hide. Mm -hmm. Yeah, managed to get a... Uh... Wait, 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 Good to see you, man. I love you, yeah? Take care, man. It's time to push you, man. You're gonna get there, don't worry. Yeah? Confidence. Good. You going international now? Yeah. Right, sorry. Okay. See you later, mate. All right, Thank mate. You, Good luck. Good to see you, my friend. All right, take care. Tough. Rio, we just see David De Gea there. Yeah, I know yeah, you yeah. couldn't let him go past. Do you know what I mean? Good relationship with him, I can see. Yeah, yeah. Listen, when he came, he was a young kid, man. But what a, what a keeper, what a guy. Great mm. character. People will question him. Should he stay? Should he be here? Should mm. someone else come in? Mm. One thing you can't question with him is his character and mm -hmm. his ability as a footballer. He's been strong this season. He's been brilliant this season. Listen, man, like I said, onwards and upwards. Yeah, bro. Mm. Don't worry, don't, don't doubt us, bro. You, I'm not doubting. Your, your, your chest is all Listen, top I'm trying him. to be respectful here because everyone says I've got an agenda. Bro, I'm trying. It's getting wet. I'm going, you know man. I mean? Listen, thanks for being a part of this. This is love. Good luck, safe journey home, and I'll see you, see you soon. Thank see you guys. Five, we're out. Peace.